Hi guys, Mandy here, and I have my sweet Fable. I just wanted to make a video and check in. I'm going to feed her. She's still in her sweet little um, sleeper. I changed her in the last time I made a video when I bathed her. And uh, I just love this little sleeper because it shows off her feet and they're so darn cute. But maybe I'll change her today and put some pictures up on Instagram. We'll see. We will see. How are you guys? Whew, we made it to Friday. Oh my gosh. Not that it matters because like, I don't know where you're at, but here where I am, we're kind of in like, you can't do anything again. So it's not like that matters, but uh, <laughs> check my hair. Um, it's not like this now that it's Friday, the weekend means anything anymore, but um, I don't know. Anyways, how are you? Just, I know this bottle has nothing in it, I'm aware. <laughs> um, I keep forgetting to get um, the silicone stuff, the silicone epoxy or whatever. I do have the silpoxy stuff for like fixing the babies, but uh, I don't want to use that for this when, you know, you can get a huge tub of that stuff for you know, a couple bucks at Walmart, but I always forget when I'm there. Anyways, whatever, c'est la vie. So we're just using our imagination. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. I've had a lot of love lately on my channel and it is such a lovely feeling because Whenever I make videos, I kind of always feel, well, I'm sure everybody feels like this. You feel like you're talking to yourself. So it's been really nice the last little while um, to be interacting with people to, I've gotten some lot of positive feedback and um, yeah, I've just, it's been a really lovely experience for me. I want to um, do a giveaway um, again, because everything is like, shut down at the moment. It's not going to be right this second. I want to find something really sweet, um, a lovely little package of goodies like I've done before in the past. Um, so give me some time to do that. I also want to do a little game like kind of to, um, I don't know. I have an idea in my head. So stay tuned. Make sure you check out my coming future videos because, um, there will be a giveaway soon just to say thank you for the kindness and the positive feedback and the lovely comments. I appreciate them all. I read them all. I, I respond to every single one that I'm able to. Sometimes YouTube eats comments and I apologize if I haven't been able to find your comment and respond back to you. Um, that's not on purpose, but thank you guys for everything. So little Miss Fable is doing so good. Um, I have been really <laughs> struggling mentally lately. You gotta laugh it off. It's just so hard. This panorama is never ending and I'm tired. I want it to be over. I want everybody to be safe and happy and healthy. And I'm just trying to be positive. I have been baking and cooking a lot. If you go to my personal Instagram, I have um, one that I focus more on my dolls. It started off as everything, but then when it became more of my dolls, I made my a uh, personal one. And um, so on there, I have been sharing recipes. I've been going through, I love recipe books. And I normally just get like inspiration from them because I hate following recipes. I hate when there's a million ingredients and there's like something so silly and you have to have like one fourth of a teaspoon of it and then you're never gonna use it again. So I never follow a recipe to a tea. But um, what have I been making? I made this really yummy, um, <laughs> I'm so 
so I think it's my thyroid it's the brain fog is really bad and I forget words and it's been happening for years now but it's been really bad I think because you know not going anywhere or doing anything or talking to anybody so it's getting really bad I always joke to my husband like oh my gosh I'm so scared for when I'm old if this is me now but like I it's not a joke I'm really scared <laughs> meatloaf I made a really yummy meatloaf where you put um, bacon around it and then you cook it and oh my gosh, it turned out so good. And my kids loved it. My husband loved it. My kids, if you have followed me for any length of time on here or on social media or anything, or you just know me personally, you know, my, t my 11 year old now son is the worst. He's the pickiest eater. Like he loves to eat, but he is so picky about food. Like he hates rice. He hates, um, he always says to me when I tell him you don't like fruits or vegetables he's like I like carrots and but they have to be uncooked and I like cucumbers and I like apples and I like bananas and I'm like oh my you don't like the veggies that I make in the foods you like you uh it's very frustrating but he loved that meatloaf and he loved what else did I make I made these really yummy um like uh I don't want to say vegan, but I guess they were, um, but like, um, natural Snickers, <laughs> Snickers bars, um, you make them with dates and peanut butter and you dip them in chocolate and it was delish. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm 10 out of 10 going to make those again. Um, but I've been posting everything on my, um, Instagram. So Mandy underscore rue underscore who underscore i believe is my name i'll put it in the bottom i always forget my name i did change it funny story my personal account used to be um unicorn poop underscore 30 and i loved that name i thought that name was so fun when i made my personal account because it was going to be a little bit of everything I knew I was going to put books up there. Um, I knew I was going to put like recipes and stuff. Um, a lot. I've been going through thyroid crap and, and a lot of other things. So I knew I was going to put a bunch of things on there. And I thought unicorn poop because, you know, like sparkly, glittery, everything, color of the rainbow, unicorn poop. But whenever I would do like enter contests or, you know, when you do a story and you tag a company because you just bought something of theirs and you love it nobody would ever repost my stuff nobody would to the point where my sister and I would go out to lunch to our favorite little local calf this was pre panorama but our favorite little local thing um she'd take a picture I'd take a picture we'd post it at the same time they'd always repost hers but never repost mine and I finally was like, I think it's because my name's Unicorn Poop 30. So anyways, I changed it to Mandy Ruhu. And uh, now it's fine. Now people will <laughs> repost my stories. How funny is that though? I had to share. Um, so yeah, but that's also why my um, name, I changed my name on on YouTube as well because my name was Mandy Reborn fan but when I started to do other videos of things I loved and clothes I wore and recipes and my favorite products um, I uh, wanted to change it to and I did Mandy who um, Mandy who because like who's Mandy and also I'm a big fan of Doctor Who so it just made sense for me so there's a little tidbit of information for you Anywho, <laughs> thank you for letting me talk to you today. It's nice to chat with somebody, even though I'm not talking to anybody, but you're out there. I know you are. <laughs> I hope you guys are warm wherever you are. It's like minus 27 this morning. I went outside with my doggo. I couldn't bring the puppy out because he's a chihuahua. People keep making fun of me because I bought my dog a puppy potty. Um, again, if you go to my <laughs> Instagram, my personal Instagram, I got the doggy bathroom. I saw it on TikTok and they had a good boxing week sale and I got it on sale. And that thing is so cool. I will insert a picture at the end of this because I know how to do that now. <laughs> Mandy is getting 
technical in 2022. She's getting there. But uh, yeah, I saw it on TikTok and I was like, that's what I need for my dog because first of all, he hides to poo, which he still does, but he uses it to pee. So we're getting there, baby steps, we're getting there. But he can't always go outside. He's a chihuahua. He like, you know, they're from Mexico. They, they like it hot and it's cold here. And one day I had him out, it was only minus seven. So that's not even that cold. And he was wearing a sweater and he went and laid down under my veggie garden thing. And he was just gonna accept death at that point. He was, I, we were outside for like two minutes max. I was picking up my other dog's present and I looked over and he was just on his back going like this. And I was like, <laughs> no, you don't have to just give up. Come here, I will bring you inside. Whew. So everybody is like, why would you get that that defeats a purpose your dog's never gonna go outside he does when we go for walks when it's you know nicer weather he does go to the bathroom outside but he can't go out there all the time so that's why the doggy bathroom is a really cool invention so i will link that too in the comments because if you got a small dog or you live in an apartment this thing is really awesome and it is helpful <laughs> and it looks sleek and cool it's beside my um <laughs> it's beside my couch and you know it looks it's not a hideous eyesore so anyways ciao thanks for watching guys stay tuned for a giveaway I love you all and I hope you have an awesome Friday let me know in the comments if you have plans on the weekend let me live vicariously through y'all bye